Good morning and welcome to the Birmingham Public Library's 2021 Summer Learning, Pro Summer Learning Program. My name is Vincent Selfrunk and I'm a librarian here at the Birmingham Public Library. And I would like to welcome you to my program, which is, oh, let me get this fixed. Sorry about that, which is talking about board games at the library. Uh, libraries, as you know, are more than books. We have movies and magazines, we teach languages, we do arts and crafts, but we also have other fun stuff. And one of those things that most some libraries are starting to get are board games. So the question to ask is why have board games? Well, first of all, Board games are a great learning tool to learn about anything that you want. You can learn about the moon. You can learn about science stuff. It teaches you math. It teaches you how to cooperate with other people, how to lose, which is how to win, how to get along, how to be a team. Board games have been around for thousands and thousands of years in various forms and they bring people together and they bring communities together so they're an excellent way they're an excellent item to have in a library there are board games for children there are board games for little kids there are board games for teens and of course there are board games for adults and the library has a huge has a large collection before i begin the library the birmingham public library has board games at three libraries. We have the Central Library, Five Points West Library, the Spring and the Springboro Road Library. Uh, you can all that you need to do to check them out is have an adult library card. Usually there's a little form that you have to fill out because there's some responsibility and then you can come in and check them out. Uh, the other rules are you cannot put them in a book drop because pieces the board game can open up and you can lose pieces that way. But otherwise, other than that, you can go online, put them on hold just like you can for a book or a movie, and check them out for a week at a time. But uh, So, just tell you a little bit about board games. There are many different kinds of board games, and the question could be, what is a board game? Well, a board game can, is anything that could be played on a flat surface. So, that could be like a card, could it be a card game? It could be a game like chess. It could be a complicated game uh, with many pieces. Some games have cards and pieces to them. Some games are very complicated and some games are very simple. But either way, they're a great source of enjoy enjoyment and, it and entertainment. Uh, let me show you a little bit of some of the games that we have here at the Birmingham Public Library that are some of my favorites. One of my favorites here is called Parks. Let me get the camera and I'll get a close-up of it. And so you can sort of see it here. So Parks is a game where you are, have a team of hikers and you go along a trail and you try to get resources to visit a national park. The board pieces, the, these are the national parks and you can sort of see some here. Uh, they, they were done by artists for the National Park Service and this company made, got the rights and put them in the game. Uh, put them in a game. So they have all the national parks, except for the ones that are just newly created. Uh, the pieces are really nice. You go along, and here's the, like a little hiker, and you move along this hiking trail, and you get little pieces. You get there's suns, there's trees, there's water, there are mountains, and you use that to purchase the parks. And every park has certain number of points uh, 
and then at the end of the se- there are four seasons in the year, and at the end of the year, you count up your victory points, and whoever has the most wins. Some of the nice things about it are the pieces are made out of wood. You have cute little animals there. The pieces are nice to behold. You could also take pictures, and they have pictures uh, of wildlife or what you would ta- see at the National Park, and those are also worth victory points. It's just a beautiful game, and I hope that you can come to the library and check it out. Again, this is the board game is called Parks, and it's by Keystone Games. Now, during the summer, I know a lot of you kids like to go, like to watch movies, especially Disney movies. Well, here's one board game that we have that combines all of it, and it is a real fun game called Disney Villainous in which you, the player, play one of five villains. And what you're trying to do is, is that every villain, you, every villain, you have like Captain Hook, we have Queen of Hearts here, and you are playing the villain, trying to get your achievement. Now, if you're like Captain Hook, you're trying to get rid of Peter Pan. But, of course, like every good villain, you have a good hero that gets in your way. So, you have Peter Pan, shows up in your car, you have a bunch of cards, and uh, Peter Pan will show up and try to thwart your evil plans. Queen of Hearts has Alice, and she tries to, get, tries to stop the Queen of Hearts from her plans. What makes it interesting is that each person is a villain, and you're trying to make trouble for the other players by playing Peter Pan or Alice or any of the other heroes of the Disney games, of the Disney movies. It is a real fun game. Every villain is different, which makes it very interesting. Again, a fun game that you could play as a family, especially if you like Disney movies. Let's talk about a little bit about some of the games the different types of games that we have. There are two different types of board games generally split up. There are ones that are created here in America, and then there's what's called European games, Euro games. Euro games are usually games that don't involve money. There's not really a theme to it, but there's, uh, but you sort of either work together, it's very nonviolent. Some of the more popular games is like Catan, uh, it's very popular. Uh, you're trying to get resources and trying to get a goal. It's not very as competitive as American style games like Monopoly or something like that. American games are very thematic. So the two that we see here, Parks and Villainous, can be considered uh, American games because they're very theme oriented. The cards are specific to the villains. It's not just any, just broad concepts. So there's a whole variety of games that can be found. Another fun game that you can get at the library we have that we have are some card games, and one of the more popular games is called The Crew. This library, the Central Library, just got it, and what makes it interesting is it's a card game where it is cooperative. Normally, card games like Hearts or 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 uh, Crazy Eights or anything like that, only one person wins. But in this game, you are playing a cooperative game in which all the players have to work together to achieve a goal. And it's real fun. It's a space theme, per se. And there's like 50 different levels. There's a little rule book that tells you how to do it. But uh, each game, you have a little, you have 50 missions, and it goes from easy to hard. And what you have to do is, uh, there's a goal. Like the very first one, it's real easy. Is that one person has to get a particular suit. The problem is, is that you can't really communicate to each other. So what you have to do is, there's a little way that you could, you could. There's a way, a card that you play, and you can make it, you will tell, you can buy, get a little counter, and it'll tell you 
you, everyone can see this one card during this one game, and you can show that it's either the highest card that you have, the lowest card, or the only card. And so that is the only clue that other people have. And, and therefore, when you're trying to win a trick or of the trick, that's all the clues are. And it gets more complicated and complicated. And the first one, like only one person has to win a card. And then as it gets more complicated, you have to do it in a particular sequence of cards. So again, a very interesting way of playing the tr uh, trick card and making it cooperative where everybody gets to play. Let's talk a little bit about online games, especially during this time when during the pandemic, people have not been able to meet together. Well, there are several places on the internet where you can get together and play other people without actually being physically together. And it could be all types of games. There are checker games and chess games. There are easy games. There are, there are easy games like Crazy Aids or, uh, or Snakes and La Ropes and Ladders, things like that. But there are also, all, almost all of these games have an online board game element. There are several companies out there that you can subscribe to. Uh, you pay sort of a little fee at the beginning, and you can go in there and you can play anyone in the world and play these games. It's online. Sometimes they're not the exact same thing as what you would do in person, but it is really nice since we have to be sort of health conscious during these time periods. It's also a good way to get it, it get interested and see if you actually really like the game before you actually purchase it or even check it out from the library. But those are real popular now, and you can see that. And speaking of online, I just want to mention that there's a really great website where you can go and find out about every board game that has pretty much been created in the world. It's called Board Game Geek. It's at BoardGameGeek.com. And you can go there, and they'll have board game news, new stuff coming in there. They'll have reviews. They have playthrough videos. They have people who do blogs and all of that. And they talk about their top favorite games, their top favorite train games or space games, uh, anything that you can imagine. And you can go online there and look at, at what you want. It's a great source. I highly re recommend it to everyone to go there. It's really easy and it's supervised. Uh, just a wonderful source of information. The next game that I want to talk to you about is called Horrify. And let me get it and show it to you. If you're interested, and especially during these days, you like to see some like, like the old scary movies like Frankenstein. There we go. Sorry, experiencing a little technical difficulty here. That in Horrified, you're the players, and it's a cooperative game. You're not playing against each other. You're trying to solve, uh, stop these monsters or cure the monsters. They have their monsters from the classical Hollywood uh, mo monster movies like Frankenstein, the werewolf, the invisible man, uh, the uh, creature from Black Lagoon, and each monster has its own goals and ways to stop them. Like for instance, the Frankenstein, you have the Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. And your goal as the investigators is to get some scientific equipment to make them realize that they're, they are in love with each other and that they're human and not to attack the villagers. So you have to go run around the board to various locations, find clues, protect villagers from their anger, 
And then as you get clues, you go back to the laboratory and try to solve things. And eventually they realize their humanity, fall in love, and you solve that. But at the same time, there's usually another monster there. So what you're having to do is try to balance out between like trying to solve for Frankenstein and then trying to save off attacks from like the Wolfman and trying to solve his, his uh, trying to solve the Wolfman. So it's a real fun game and there's a time limit. Eventually you run out of time and you could lose. So you have to learn to cooperate with each other. So that is four or five. It's an excellent, fun game that it's not very violent or, or scary at all like that. So again, a great board game. Uh, let me also tell you um, some other there. There are other libraries in Jefferson County that also have board games if you're interested. Not just those in the city of Birmingham. There's also Hoover and Leeds has board games. And hopefully after the pandemic, we'll be doing more in person and doing more uh, board games at our libraries. We're always willing to show you uh, the board games and how they work and help you decide which ones to get. As I said, we get some from, we have several for children and we have several for the adults and things like that. Uh, one of the big special events every November is International, Board, International Gaming at the library, in which libraries all over the world host board games and video games and things like that. Last year we couldn't do it because of the pandemic, but hopefully this year we'll be hosting events at, our, at Birmingham Public Library and at other libraries. So keep posted, go online, and you can see on the calendar around November programs that we'll be doing. So again, I want to thank you for coming today and to hopefully you'll be interested in our board game collection and check it out. I think it's a, it's a lot of fun and you can, something to learn, something to grow together as a family and to just thank you very much for visiting this program and for watching me today and please visit the Birmingham Public Library this summer. And thank you, and have a great summer.